you're trying to find the coefficient of x to the 6. There's a long, silly way to do this, which is, let's <laughs> oh, just expand the whole thing, okay? Now let's just remember why that's a bad idea. That's um, right, yeah, <laughs> this is, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, this thing you already told me at the beginning has 11 terms. Mm -hmm. How many terms is this going to have for? So the end result is 44 terms. Forget that. Uh, this is the whole point of doing binomial theorem. You know, we started off with simple ones, but quite quickly you get to questions where it's, there's no other practical way. Okay? So then you have to identify um, with a simpler example, it might be a bit easier, which of the combinations will give you an x to the 6? Okay? So for example, if I said find the coefficient of x to the 6 in this, I'm just going to give you a simple example. Um, times uh, x to the 4, x to the 5, x to the 6, x to the Okay, just made this up, okay. If the question was, find the coefficient of x to the 6, okay, you can clearly see, for instance, there are some terms that are useless to you in this. They will never give you an x to the 6. Example, this guy. Pointless, because he's already gone over, and then he's going to multiply something that will make the power even bigger, right? So you can safely ignore it. You can also ignore this, it, if for the same reason, okay. But then when you get to this guy, you're like, oh, wait. If I pair that up with one of these terms over here, I will get next to the 6 term. One. Which one? Yeah, it has to go with this, right? If it pairs it with any of the others, it doesn't give you the same power, right? In the same way, this guy here can also pair up with one term. Uh, it's, it's this one, right? What about this one? Two. Just want to outline them differently. Okay. So we abandoned these two because the powers were too high. They're no good. But then you get to this one. This is the last one. I haven't done anything with it. I also have to abandon that one. Mm. Why? Because you can't pair it with can't. anything else. Because it's too low, right? Do you notice that? These are too high. This is too low. So therefore, I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about this or this. Okay. So then, if you can work out the coefficients of those three pairs, that's it. Those are the only ways you're going to get an x to the 6. The same thing happens here. Okay? So we just have to work out which of these terms will give me an x to the 6. Okay? <laughs> so, um, the way that I would think about this is, okay, out of this, right? Uh, this part here is small enough that you can think about it on its own. This part is not. That's why it was separated out to be its own question. Okay? But... Let's actually start working on this, Ron Collins. The first thing, the first binomial expansion, I can rewrite that. Uh, let's see here. So it's, it's to the power of 3. You should, should know that row of Pascal's triangle well enough by now. It's going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. Uh, and then I'm going to do all the rest of my pieces, okay? So this one's easy enough that I think we can do this together uh, in our heads. So this one is going to be the first one. It's just going to be x cubed. How many negative threes will there be? 27. <laughs> Hold on. This is the first term. There oh, will be none of them. Yeah. Right? I've got all the x's, I've got none of those. Yeah, I was looking so, at the three, sorry. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That. Plus that. Okay. The next one, I've gone from x cubed, I'll climb down to x squared, mm -hmm. which means I'll get x minus three. I'll get a negative three. Okay. That's done. Okay, I'm gonna climb down again. How many negative threes will I get this time? One, two, two of them, and then the last one, no more x's, all of the negative threes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I know that's long, but the purpose of me writing that out is so that I can do what I did in red here just now, which is to say, well, which one of these are going to combine with something useful? Okay. Now, this is a bit sneaky. Um, the example I just gave you, I deliberately simplified it. I had like a series of x's all the way through. Okay. But if you have a look at this carefully, you would actually get every single power of x. Think about this. If k were 0, if k were 0, what power of x will come out of this? 10. k equals 0, you'll get an x to the 10. If k is equal to 1, then what power of x do you get? No, no. Now it comes from this, right? Do you see if this was 10 minus 3k, I'd get 10 and then I'd get 7. So you skip 9 and you skip 8. 
because of uh, these guys, right? The powers interact with each other in this way that we just did with index laws here. Um, I can see, I'm going to get a pattern here, aren't I? Oops. K equals 3, x to the 4. You following? Mm -hmm. uh, whoops, sorry, that's, that's a 4. K equals 5. What am I going to get here? Zero. Yeah. yeah, x to the 0. Okay. Now, k equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's the biggest value of k in this thing? 5. Any How many eight. terms does this have again? 11. It'll be 11. Starting from 0, that means I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 10. Dot, 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 dot. Right. So in fact, for example, just humor me, okay? K equals six. What will happen next? Follow the pattern. Negative. Next thing. Okay, now remember before I started to say, all right, some of these terms are useful, some of them these terms are, are never gonna help me. Okay? You can do the same thing here. I'm looking for the coefficient x to the six. Is this guy gonna be any good to me? No. He cannot combine with any one that we've written down in order to give you an x to the 6. What would you have needed to get an x to the 6? What would he have to combine with? An x to the negative 4. Okay, so if this expansion had an x to the negative 4 in it, it'd be okay. But we do not have that, so it's a dud. x to the 8, also a dud. x to the 6, can it combine with something? Yeah. Answer, yeah. yes. Which one? The last two. Yeah. Oh, negative. x to the 6 matches up with that one, yeah? Okay, so that's good. What about x to the 4? Yes. Which one? 3x squared yeah. times negative 3. What about x squared? No. Is there a 4? No, there's no 4. What you need, what you're searching for, is an x to the 4. Mm -hmm. But you don't have one, right? So this is no good. And then you quickly realize, oh, once it's no good, it, it won't ever become good again. Because look, I would need an x to the 6 to pair it with this, which I don't have. I would need x to the 8 to pair it with this, which I don't have. You can stop looking. You've only, you've, that's it. These are the only two terms. So that's why even though you look at that and you're like, holy cow, 44 terms, okay? Actually, only two of them are the ones you need, okay? <sighs> That was a lot of thinking without much writing, okay? So this is what makes it an extension question. Now we are actually ready to do the work. I know which terms in here I need, okay? So therefore I'm gonna say, uh, you've got them over there. Um, the coef, well I'll do it one at a time. I'll do it one at a time. Uh, for k equals two, k equals two, that'll give me um, x to the 6, it'll give me this term, okay? So I'm going to go back, it says using part 1, right? So I'm going to say that's t of 2 plus 1, right? That's my k value. So now I'm just going to substitute into that bottom line. Uh, 10 minus 4. How's that look? Yeah. Is that okay? Uh, at this point, I need some numbers. Um, so 10c2, I have no idea what 10c2 is. Um, it'll be 1, and then it'll be 10, and then 45. 45. There you go. I already knew that was going to be x to the 6. Yeah. Um, what happens here? There's nothing. Just, you know, time yeah. nothing so changes. because it's, yeah, that's right. I would encourage you, though, to actually write 1, because it's not that it disappears. It's, it's that minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So I get 45x to the 6, okay? But then I'm going to remember in my mind, therefore, it's a 45x to the 6. It's going to combine with that guy. Keep that in the back of your head. The other thing was k equals 3. So I'm going to look at the next term. Term 3 plus 1 equals 10c3x to the 10 minus 6, 6 negative 1 to the 3. 10c3? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it 110? 120. <laughs> so close. Um, <laughs> x to the 4. Okay, so you're 110 still. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> 20. It was in my head. Uh, and then what happens here? Uh, just, well, we, there's a negative, but I still remain to 1. So, so negative 120. Mm -hmm. Okay. So therefore, now I can come up here and I can say negative 120. 
Finally, we can say, therefore, the coefficient of x to the 6, because that's what the question asks, not for the whole term, just the number out the front, is going to be consisting of this guy and this guy. So how do, what, what's in here? Um, that's 3 times minus 3. That's minus 9. So that's uh, minus 9 times minus 120. I'm only interested in the coefficients now. And then this guy will be yep, uh, negative 27 times 45. Uh, 9 times 120 is 1,080, and oh, I have no idea what that yeah, is. Yeah, it is 1,080, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, that's no idea. 1,080. 1,215. 1,215? I've got to change my code. Uh, which is negative yeah. 135. <laughs> sure, my code is really bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Which okay. Is, it, the, the numbers, the numbers were in oh, so you, sometimes, you I, sometimes <laughs> I mistype and like instead of a four, I go to another seven. So let's uh, let's just step back for a minute. This is a hard question. This is about as hard as it would get. Okay, because for several reasons. Um, number one. Uh, you've got these two interacting with each other, which means there are these skipped terms that you see. That's hard. That trips people up. You got negatives in there. Even if you know to look for them, it's still like we make silly errors for things like that. And then over here, um, you have to think really hard about what to do with this. You remember we spent ages just just here, mm. and then we worked out what to do. Um, so once you get to that point, you've demonstrated a lot of understanding. 